Leicester had to win to have any chance of avoiding relegation today. And even that wouldn't be enough if other results went against them. The visitors were Burton, who were without a win in six and were just three points ahead of third place Walsall. Eight points from safety and with a wretched goal difference too. The one thing Colchester needed here was a spot of luck. What they got was a contentious red card. Joe Edwards left dumbstruck by referee Mark Haywood just 17 minutes in. Burton, of course, were desperate to end their own rotten run of results. They took the lead on the stroke of half-time through Lucas Aikens. Before the game, Kevin Keane said Colchester had a 1% chance of avoiding relegation. We have only unconfirmed reports of his figure after Aikens had smashed in a second. So Colchester lose their League One status. Aikens took the match ball off their hands too. His hat-trick was probably for the best. It's not as if Colchester want to keep any mementos of this season. There's so many positives for the club and as long as we all come together and, and, and make sure that through the summer the, the recruitment's right, I, I really do think that in two, three years we can try and emulate what Burton Albion have done over the last couple of years. It was billed as a slugfest between two of the division's big hitters, and it was nearly Warsaw landing the first blow. On loan, Geordie Hawula denied by the crossbar. All the meaningful punches were thrown by Bradford. Tony McMahon's free kick caused mayhem. Portuguese midfielder Philippe Moraes scrambled in his first Bantam's goal this season. Then it was the James Hansen show, the Bradford striker scoring a 16-minute hat-trick. His first one saw him bundle his way through before doubling their lead. It was 3-0 not long afterwards. A McMahon free kick, again spelling danger, Hansen exploiting defensive uncertainty. Warsaw's inability to cope with an aerial assault again told against them. Hansen's hat-trick coming from a Felipe Moraes cross. They're within a point of Warsaw in the table, and it was the Saddler's heaviest defeat this season. Warsaw's loss meant a Wigan victory would all but secure automatic promotion, such as their superior goal difference. They had an early lead when Chris McCann scored his first since January. Before this match, Will Grigg had been given his PFA Fans Player of the Month award, and the Wigan top scorer was on hand to profit from Yannick Wilshut hitting the post to double their lead. No side in League One's won more of their home games this season, and when a fine through ball from Michael Jacobs found Grigg, he had his 26th of this campaign, 12 of them in his last 12 games. Five minutes into the second half, the result was beyond doubt. Jacobs had had a hand in two of Wigan's goals. He made it 4-0 with his second in five days. South End have managed just one point in April, a run that's put paid to their playoff hopes. They had a goal back when Captain Craig Morgan put it into his own net, but the Latics are all but guaranteed championship football next season.